good afternoon. So in this in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, semi batch reactors. So this is these are the type of reactors wherein uh, there's an incoming flow, <clears throat> but there is no outgoing flow. So generally, um, the reactor is filled with one of the reactant. <clears throat> so question is, why, why are we doing this type of setup of reactors? So one reason is that when you analyze the equation for selectivity, uh, the selectivity will increase if the concentration of a reactant is, is, keep on, uh, is keep high during the, during the reaction. So let's let's try to uh, see some example. So this is what we call the semi-batch reactor. Right? Okay, semi-batch reactor. So as I've said before, this is a kind of reactor wherein you have an incoming flow, but there is no outgoing flow. So this is a drawing of the, this is an illustration of a semi-batch reactor. So generally, as you can see, um, the reactor is filled with A. Okay, the reactor is filled with A. And then B is, B is flowing, slowly flowing into the reactor. And of course, there's a steering system to agitate the, you know, the content of the reactor. So the question is, why are we doing this type of setup? So this is, this is known as semi-batch reactor. <clears throat> so this is, a, this is an example. Right? So we have two competing reactions. So the first reaction produces D, the desired product, and the second reaction produces U, the undesired product. So both of these reactions uses A and B. So the rate of production of D or the desired product is KD times CA squared times CB. While the rate of the undesired reaction is KU, CA, CB squared. So generally, if there's more B, you're going to produce the undesired product. And then if there's more A, you're going to produce the desired product. <clears throat> so if you're going to use the selectivity definition, so the selectivity definition uh, for instantaneous selectivity is Rd divided by Ru. So when, when you solve this, you cancel out similar terms, Rd over Ru. So you can cancel out Ca and Cb. You, you'll be left with KdCa divided by KuCb. So if you keep the concentration of A high, uh, high and the concentration of B low, you, you, the selectivity will, you know, will increase. So that's, that's the the rationale or the reason why we are doing a semi-batch reactor or semi-continuous reactor. So semi-batch reactor can be very effective in maximizing selectivity in liquid phase reaction. The reactant that starts in the reactor is always the limiting reactant. This one, you know? <clears throat> A. And then, siyempre, A is the the one, the reactant that we want to maintain in great concentration, while B is the reactant that we want to maintain in uh, low concentration. So this is the one that we introduce, no? that, that flows continuously into the system, while the reactor is filled with A, the one where, you know, <clears throat> where we wanted the concentration to be high. Okay. So generally, if we have A plus B, which give you product C plus D, this is a general reaction. We're going to analyze this mathematically for this system. <clears throat> so B, this is the 
probably this is the concentration of B. B sub O, this is the flow rate of B. You could, uh, the concentration of B could be CBO. No? And then the concentration of A in the tank could be CAO. And then we have the initial volume B. No? So as you can see, the, the volume of the, uh, of the system increases as time passes by. So it would be uh, initial volume B plus B sub O times T would be equal to the total volume. So liquid level and volume increases in a semi-batch reactor. <clears throat> okay, so this is the, the simple equation for, uh, no, for volume. Uh, I don't think you really need to derive this. This is common sense. No? Yung total volume is simply equal to B sub O, that's the initial volume, initial volume of A, of solution A in the reactor, plus this is the flow rate, B sub O times time. So B is equals to B sub O plus B sub O plus times T, you know? so This is the first equation. Okay. Next, we're, we're going to analyze, or we're going to set up the equation for A. Remember, A is the reactant. So what happens is that A, is not going out of the system. And then there's no, no A getting into the system because all, all that is getting into the system is B. Okay, so going out is zero, going in is zero. So what happens is A, the changes in A is basically uh, A that is reacting or being consumed by the reaction. So that would be RA times B. So positive lang to, pero RA kasi is negative TCA. And then this, this will be equal to the accumulation. So the accumulation is the change in the number of moles of A with respect to time, B and A, B. <clears throat> okay, so NA, this is simply equal to CA times B. Kasi NA is the number of moles of A. So if you're going to multiply a concentration, this is moles per liter with volume, liter. So this, this is equal to NA, you know? So for the differential, the derivative of a product CAB is CA prime times B plus B prime times CA. So this is it. This is the that differential equation of B D C A D T plus C A D B D T. So just we'll just uh, D B D T D B D T is this is the change in volume is simply equal to the flow rate flow rate of, of solution B, no? So this is B sub O. So you can, we can replace uh, this DBDT with B sub O. <clears throat> Let me try, I, I, I can annotate this. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so we just replace this with B sub O, this is the flow rate. And then what we're going to do, we'll just equate this, you know, with RAB. So RAB is equals to B, B, C, A, D, T, plus C, A, B sub O. Initial volume, you know? And then we're going to isolate, as you can see, we're going to isolate B, C, A, D, T. So just transpose this CABO to the other side of the equation. So you're going to get no, RA B minus C A B O. Remember B O is the flow rate and C A. <clears throat> and then you we have B D C A B T. And then transpose B on the other side of the equation. So when you transpose B, this will cancel out. So you will have R A. And then you have uh, B O C A divided by D. So this is this is the first equation in terms of C A. You know D C A D D that, that we're going to use for the you know, for the polymath. 
for the polymer uh, differential equation. DCA dt is equals to R sub A minus B O C A. I hope you get the uh, derivation. I don't know, even kahit naman din yung makuha yung derivation, ano? Just remember, this is the second equation that we're going to use. The first one is B is equals to B sub O plus B sub O times time. It's the second one. Pero in the first differential equation. Okay, so just let me clear this out. Let's derive the other equation. <clears throat> okay, so this is mole balance on species B. Remember B, <clears throat> B is coming into the system. So we have here FBO. Pero initially, uh, no, this is going out. No B is going out of the system. So this, the second term is zero. And then B is also consumed by the reaction. So you have RB times B. This is the consumption of B by the reaction. And then this will be equal to the rate of change of B uh, on the reactor, B dt. <clears throat> okay, again, again, just the same. Uh, NB is equal to CB times B. And then the, the derivative of CB times B is uh, B times DCB dt plus CB DB dt. Again, DB dt is B sub O. So, again, we're going to replace this with B sub O. And then, we're going to derive DCB dt. The same, the same thing that we have done with the first, ano, with the first uh, equation. Okay? So, yeah. Let me annotate, ano? But I, I hope it's just the same as the first one. I hope we can understand this one. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is dB dt is equals to B sub O. So just replace that with B sub O. It becomes B sub O. No, and then <clears throat> we're we're going to replace. No, so we're going to insert this equation to the first equation right there, and then we're going to isolate dC B dt. Just, just to derive this, you know? so let's do that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so we have FBO. FBO is CBOBO, you know? CBOBO. CBO, this is the concentration of the incoming flow. You know? And then this is the flow rate. So we have C B O B O. Okay. And then we have R B B. I hope you can follow me. Ito, ito lang yan, no? Ito lang yan. So, itong dalawa. Tapos, uh, this is equal to D N B D T. So we have B volume of the reactor. D C B D T. And then CB, B sub O. <clears throat> okay, we, we wanted to isolate the CB DT. So we're just going to transpose this and divide them with volume. So if we're going to do that, uh, the, you have this one. Diba? You have the CB DT. You're going to have the CB DT right here. You will have the CB DT by transposing this. So on the left side, you will have uh, CBO, BO divided by B. The second term would be RB. And then the third term would be uh, CB, B sub O divided by B. <clears throat> so this is the RB, this one. And then if you're going to factor out B sub O and B, we're going to get CBO minus CB. So this is this this is going to be our second differential equation. Okay, I, I hope you follow the derivation no? of these equations. Okay, so let me clear this.
<clears throat> okay. So, so right here we have the two equations that we have derived. Bueno, this one, the second one, this is ADT, this is BDT, and then the number five is just common sense. No? The total volume is simply equal to the initial volume plus the flow rate times time. So these two, these two, let's let's try to derive this in the same manner. No? So these are the products. So as you can see, they are just basically the same. Right? So try to derive this. Even, probably even C. Just, just this one, this CDT. <coughs> Let me annotate it. So you start with the, uh, no, with the mole balance. You start with the mole balance. So B, uh, C, C is not coming in, it's also not coming out, so it would be zero minus zero. This is in, this is out, so zero, both of them are zero. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing, that's why we have C, is because of the generation through the reaction. So we have RC times the volume, no? It's the rate of formation of C by the reaction. And then just equate this to D and C, DT. Okay. And then a D and C, DT, is simply equal to D, C, C, times B, divided by DT. And then uh, we have, this is equal to C, C, D, B, D, T, plus B, D, C, C, D, T. This is simply equal to B sub O, the flow rate. Enough. So just substitute it in the first equation. You have this one, this one, substitute it right there. So you have R, C, B, and then this is equal to C, C, B sub O, plus B, D, C, C, D, T. And then you isolate D, C, C, D, T. So, <clears throat> and then you divide this with B. Now if you're going to divide this with B, you're going to get the RC. Uh, if you're going to transpose this, you will have negative C, C over B sub O divided by B. So that's how this equation is derived. No? I hope you can follow. <clears throat> so just try to transpose this one. So at this point, I hope you can see this equation coming out. So the same, the same, no, the same thing for number four, no? the same thing for number four. <clears throat> for reaction. So basically all you need to do is in this semi-batch problem, um, you're just going to enter all this differential equation and one uh, explicit equation on the polymath, and then you're just going to define the value. So, for, for the first equation, you're going to you need to uh, no, you need to state what is the initial concentration of A. So it's given on the problem. Generally, this is not zero because this is A is remember A is the one on the container. No, remember our box actor it contains A. So CAO, CAO is not zero. Generally, CAO is not zero. Diba? So CAO is not equal to Zero. There's a value. It's, it's usually given in the in the problem. <clears throat> Generally, B at saka BO. So this B here is the B there, and it's equal to B sub O plus B sub O times time. You know? The initial volume is generally given in the problem, and the flow rate is generally given in the problem. So after specifying CA, uh, this is done. You know? Of course, you need to you have you need to have the Equation for RA. So if this is a second order, if the equation that we have analyzed is elementary, so RA would be equal to K times CA times CB. 
So K should be also be given in the problem. So that's that's the first equation is complete. Ano? <clears throat> the second equation, so we have B sub O, this is given. CBO, uh, this is the concentration uh, of the incoming you know, B. So this is CBO, concentration right there. This one. CB, generally this is zero kasi wala naman siya dun sa ano, container. B is also given. RB, uh, RB is equals to RA. Kasi di ba, 1 is to 1 naman yung reaction. So RB is equals to RA. So just, you can, you can replace this with RA. No? You can replace this with RA in the, in the polymer. Okay? And then CB, <clears throat> say wala naman siya, CBO, CB at 0 is 0. So this CBO and the concentration in the, you know, in the reactor are different. No? Magkaiba yung, if you can, sa polymer, you can write CBO and yung CB at time T. Magkaiba itong dalawa. No, I hope you can distinguish. Ito yung pumapasok. <clears throat> Ito yung ano, yung concentration dun sa loob. This is generally equal to zero. Okay. Yung CBO generally zero to. I hope you get that. <clears throat> okay, third third ano, third differential equation. <clears throat> BO is given, B is given, RC is just equal to the negative of R sub A. Positive, negative lang. Kasi ito napuproduce ito, napuconsume. So negative R A lang to. So that's it. Complete na to. Ano, ganun din dito sa fourth equation. B O and B is R given and then R D is just negative R A. Okay? So that's it. That's how to solve this problem. So let's, let's try to solve an actual problem. Okay, so this is this is from Pagler, no? example 6.3 from Pagler. <clears throat> the production of methyl bromide is an irreversible liquid phase reaction that follows an elementary rate law. The reaction is uh, <clears throat> CNBR, so CNBR is bromine cyanide. Plus CH3NH2. CH3NH2 is uh, methylamine. No? So that's, that's methylamine. When you react both of them, you're going to produce CH3Br or bromo, <coughs> bromomethyl. No? And then the other product. <coughs> okay, so this is carried out isothermally in a semi batch reactor. <coughs> An aqueous solution of methylamine at a concentration of 0 0.025 mole per liter is to be fed at a volumetric rate of 0 0.05 liter per second. <clears throat> so, let me annotate this. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> so, itong 0 0.025 So, bali itong 0 0.025 mole per liter uh, that is introduced, that, that is your ano, CBO. No? Yan yung concentration ng B na pumapasok doon sa reactor. So you, can, you can use the CBO in the ano. This is your CBO in the <coughs> in the polymer. Ano? Remember our system na? This is A. This is our CSTR. 
So your C RCVO is the concentration of the solution of B uh, flowing into the reactor. So that's 0 0.025 moles per liter. And then uh, 0 0.05 liter per second, that is, that's going to be your B sub O. Ito yun, no? Ito yung B sub O. For an aqueous solution of bromine cyanide, a contained in a glass line reactor. <clears throat> the initial volume of liquid in the bath is to be 5 liters. So, ito. With a bromine cyanide concentration of 0 0.05 mole per liter. <clears throat> so, bromine cyanide. Uh, that's CNBR. So, this is your A. Ano? This is A. Bromine cyanide. So, ang initial concentration ng A, that would be CAO, is this one. This is, your, this is going to be your CAA. 0 0.05. <clears throat> this is, this is going to be your B. B sub O. Ang initial volume of the reactor. Capital B sub O. So the specific rate of the reaction is 2.2 liter per second per mole. Kasi second order siya, ano? So you need to solve for the concentration of bromine cyanide. So that would be A, no? bromine cyanide, and methyl bromide, and the rate of reaction as function of time, and then analyze the result. So you need to find the concentration against time. Yun naman yung output ng polymath, ano? Okay. So remember, actually, you, you will have how many equations? Four differential equations, no? Tapos, uh, B is equals to B sub O plus B sub O times T, so one explicit, and then K times RA is equals to K times CA times CB. So, dalawa lang naman yung ano. And then all the constant, all of this constant. Ganun lang naman yung ano, polymer. Okay, so let's let's try to find out the solution. Let me clear this up. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to discuss. Okay, so these are the four differential equations in the derived natin kanina, no? So we have you can you can start with D C A D T. Karin lang yon. D C B D T. D C C D T. D C D D T. So notice that I just replaced for B, I replace RB with RA. And then for RC, I replace it with negative RA. And when for RD, I replace it with negative RA. Okay, so let's start with DCADT. So I need to specif specify B sub O. B sub O is the flow rate, which is 0 0.05. Tapos B, B is, you need to have an equation for B. B is equal to B sub O plus B sub O times T. So B sub O is 5. So, this is done. And then RA, you have the K. This is the negative KCA times CB equation. So, we're done with the first differential equation. Second differential equation, you need to have CBO. So, you need to enter CBO. CBO is also 0 0.05, if I remember it right. B sub OB, KCA. So, so this CB equation is done. Tapos DCC equation, ganun din, ano? CC is 0, CB, CBO at 0 is 0, CD at 0 is 0, no? So, A lang naman yung laman ng reactor. So, CD, CB, CC, and uh, CB at times equals to 0 are all 0. Okay? So... <clears throat> So this is the ano, this is the actual <coughs> polymath uh, program. So yun, this is the first explicit equation. B is equals to B sub O, B sub O times T. So I'm running this from T is equals to 0 to T is equals to 500. I think this is in seconds. Ano? Kasi K is in seconds. Tapos K is 2.2. RA is negative KCACB. Uh, B sub O is 0 0.05, B sub O is 5. So you're, you'll be able to solve this. You know, when you have time. <clears throat> okay, we started with the DC, DT. CD at 0 is 0. DC, CDT. CCO is 0. DC, BDT. CBO is 0. 
BCADT, CAO is 0, but CBO, the, the concentration of the flowing is 0 0.025. So that's it. And then just run this. We're going to run this. We're going to get this plot. So the red one is C sub A. So the concentration of the reactant is decreasing. Uh, okay, so tatlo lang to ano? So this one is green, so this is CC, and the blue one is CB. We don't have the dark blue CB. So this is C green. So this is CB. No, you're introducing CB, that's why it's increasing. Pero later on, it's decreasing because it's one of the reactants. And then, this is the concentration of the one of the product. They are probably the, the concentration of CC and CD. That's why we only have three plots are just the same. Ano? So, this is the plot for CC and CD. It's, it's continually increasing. Ano? So, I hope you can, you can reproduce this. Ano? You can reproduce this uh, plot on the, you know, on the final exam. Okay, so our final exam would be uh, CSTR startup time and uh, semi batch, semi batch reactor. Okay, so just try to answer the final exam. Uh, the deadline would be on June one, and also answer the you know, the the midterm exam uh, removal. <clears throat>